welcome, welcome to the dungeon and to this holiday uh, demonstration on the De Los Muertes bead. They're a lot of fun to make, and I know I always say that, but it's always fun to make because uh, it's exciting to play with the glass. It's, you know, you're playing, so you're having a good time. And if you're not having a good time, then you need to stop because then you're wasting precious energy and gas and oxygen. <laughs> anyway, to continue, I basically start out exactly how I would with the skull. So if you have watched that video, then you'll know exactly how this is gonna begin. And then once I have that basic head shape, I'll embellish it. Um, happy Day of the Dead and Happy De Los Muertes. We'll see you next time. right off the bat. Don't ever, ever do this. Don't ever grab um, anything from underneath the torch. I don't know what I was thinking, but um, there is quite a bit of room between my torch and the pad, even though it doesn't look like it. But what I'm doing is heating up where I want the bead or the marini to go, and then just slightly heating the edge of the marini up, just a little bit enough for it to stick and then I'm just going to push it right down as far as I can into the soft part of the glass. Again, don't ever grab from underneath the torch. That's like a hazard right there. I've seen bad things happen. Anyway, once you have your marinis or your eyes in place, press them down and I think uh, what we're going to start out with is just some greenery around the top, which is uh, leaves. We'll make leaves. And when I make these little tiny leaves, what I'm doing is grabbing a small little tiny round bit of glass and pressing and pulling it out. 
before it has time to cool down. And as I pull out, I'm pulling out into the torch. And now we're going to add some little red dots in different colors on the top. And we'll shape those up later on once we get the colors that we want on here. Okay, I like to use an X-Acto blade. It's really handy for very thin and small areas to push into. Notice that I, I do get it hot enough to give myself enough time. This is in real time here. To give myself some time to just press down lightly on what I need. But I also make sure I don't neglect heating up the jawline because these beads can crack very easily. And now let's go ahead and add a little bit of face paint or um, face decoration. And we're going to do this little nose here. The nose is tricky because what I do is I get the tiniest amount. I get a very, very thin stringer. and get the tiniest amount of it hot. And then the trick is to heat up the face first. So when you drop and you gently pull up and lift away, you have kind of a cone shape, I guess. And then I use the, uh, the edge of my torch to flatten them out real quick. Anyway, moving along, I'm just going to add some, uh, what is, uh, um, <laughs> I don't want to have to redo this. Um, I'm just adding a little bit of clear on top of the Marinis so the eyes bulge out and then just some more decoration on top. I'll probably push those in too. Yep. Keep everything nice and warm. Okay, now I, I, we're going to work on the mouth. So what I need to do is turn my whole rod around and I'm going to add just a line of bread. And I just gently draw it across and immediately I have time to shape it before it melts all the way in. Once the glass melts all the way in, you can't shape it anymore. But once, but if it still has a little bit of uh, edge to it, you can work it and push it around. This is so cool too. I love this part. So now we're going to add um, some more of that uh, ivory. Oh, wait. <laughs> we're not there yet. I'm sorry. I got distracted. We're going to add a little bit of uh, side fodder. <laughs> Some more flowers. More flowers. More flowers. It is Day of the Dead. Too bad I'm not working with sugar. Oof, I just love sugar. More flowers. Let me get that stuff up there. And I am also using all my colors, so that makes me happy. All right, we're going to do that center dot, and then I use the uh, the blade to kind of heat it and then push it down. Oh, here we go. So I'm gently going to just streak this right across. It's the same color as the background. It's an ivory. Okay, and I'm going to press that in, and it'll look like uh, teeth. So then take it on over to your little marvering pad and cut in the teeth. You really only have maybe one or two times that you can do this. But try to do it once on both sides like I'm doing here. And then move away from that. Just keep it warm. And then go back to the head and reheat the head real good. <clears throat> Work on your edges, your shape a little bit. And it is a pretty much a done from here. We're just going to add a few more things and 
our De Los Muertos bead shall be finished. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, um, give it a thumbs up. Give it a like. We'd love that. And we will see you next time.